Scorpio, welcome in guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another love reading with myself, Joe. Before we get started, Scorpios, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, please do give me a thumbs up if this reading resonates for you. Scorpio, let's get into this. We'll start by getting you an angel message in which I'm going to ask you to screenshot. I'll read the first line for you, but then you can screenshot the rest if you'd like to. So yes, uh, what's the message? Oh, Scorpio's today, please. What is Scorpio's angel message? We have discernment, okay? Uh, discernment means sensing what feels right or wrong, trusting your judgment and acting on it, okay? Your affirmation is, I trust my intuition. Don't ever doubt that it's there for a reason. And of course, yes, please do screenshot, guys. I forgot about that. Do screenshot if uh, necessary. Here we are. And let's get into the tarot, guys. Let's see what uh, the love story is today. Okay, Scorpio's in love. Tell me about Scorpio's in love. What's the message for Scorpio's today in love? Scorpio's in love. We have the Ace of Wands, as you can see there, guys. We also have the King of Swords. Nice air energy there, Gemini. We also have the Star, Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. The Ace of Wands is something new, a new creative idea even, yeah? The spark of something new. So this could be a new person, a new connection here. With the King of Swords, this is quite... um. I feel like this is a straightforward person and the queen uh, sorry the king of swords for me is somebody who's who's very serious you know someone who means business not messing about i mean what i say yeah and, and i feel like they're just their energy the way how they may talk and deal with you you know it brings in a lot of healing this person even gives you space to heal a very understanding energy but at the same time honest sometimes even brutally honest and it's just what's needed yeah that's just what's needed for you here scorpio for your healing it's like you're on some sort of healing journey and they see you very very clearly as well i want to say they more than likely see you as a star you know but they're very honest and if this is flaws, they see them and they talk about them open and honest because they want you to heal and they want you to be your best version here. And in order for that to happen, you have to deal with all the things that you don't speak about, all the feels that you try not to feel. So this person is it's somewhat of a trigger bolt, but respected, yeah? Respectfully, should I say. A respectful trigger bolt, because uh, you admire that in this person, yeah? And for those reasons, okay, because you are on such a healing journey here, Scorpios, it's taking its time for it to come into union. At times you may feel conflict conflicted. I don't think your person is, you know, your person's um, could be a very spiritual person here. We'll wait on and find out about them anyway. But I see this bringing lots of inner conflict for you because it's taking long. You may uh, often, me, we think to ourselves, oh, I've done the healing, I feel healed, blah, blah, blah. And then tomorrow you have your tower moment. And you sure as hell realised that you wasn't. Yeah, you, I wasn't ready. So there's lots for you to deal with. It's almost like this person's an angel. Um, but yes, let's read on for you, Scorpios. I think I want to delve into your person's energy already. Please tell me about Scorpio's person, please. Who is this guy? Who's that guy? Or girl? Who is this person? Tell me more about this King of Swords energy. There we are. Wow. They want to be seen. Clearly. So we have the Nine of Wands. Do you remember what I was saying? We're not doing reversals uh, here, guys. But remember when I was saying this person is, you know, taking their time. They see you very, very clearly. They may uh, see. I definitely feel like this person sees all your flaws. Yeah. And all the things that you are hurting from that are, are all the unhealed things let's just say that here okay um scorpios they see all the unhealed things let's get more of their energy in we also got the world card we got the moon yeah they see beneath the surface even we've got the hand man 
the tower and the three of wands. So I do believe your person is very spiritually evolved, very woke then, yeah, I've got to say that. But with the world, it's like they have this, you know, they, they know that you are for them, yeah, and they are for you. But you can't have anything, you know, you can't move into this new cycle with these forms, these things. They want you to be whole and heal and heal, yeah. They want you to go through your rebirth because that transition there where you will gain your clarity, where you will deal with your shadow side, yeah. Excuse me for that noise, but that's confirmation, yeah. You will gain some sort of clarity. You, you are dealing with your shadow side, even, yeah. You're dealing with all of these forms, all of these things. That's when... um this change comes in and even though that's the hanged man it's like hanging it's going to be a difficult period for you it may feel very uncomfortable if you hang upside down you'll know what i mean uh, not that you're going to do it but uh yeah it's a very uncomfortable position here guys so there's lots of things that you're having to grow through yeah feeling very uncomfortable but your person is seeing this they may even be telling you things and I think you'll be very in denial you know, but that's going to happen. Here's that tower moment. As I said, going through the, the, the change. You may just be in... Think of this like a womb here. And this is a child in the womb waiting to come out. That they have to develop to a certain stage before they come out. That tower moment, I'm just saying this in terms of pregnancy here, guys. That tower moment being when they leave the womb. It's like, but I can't stop this from happening. It's my time to, you know... But, coming to life now it's your turn for that rebirth here with this tower moment when everything kind of comes crashing down and it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing this could be that moment for you where it's realization where you gain that clarity yeah where you see everything that's unhealed where you see your toxic traits and know that they have to be dealt with yeah it might be a slight bit of unavoidance these things make you feel uncomfortable okay they make you feel uncomfortable, but as much as you try and avoid, you, it, it's not really. I just saw 0707 on the, the clock there, guys. But uh, definitely, it makes you feel uncomfortable, but it's something that can't be avoided. And I'm asking about your person's energy. They'll wait. Yeah? They're a very patient person. Like I said, they know you're for them and they are for you. But it's like they need to have some sort of patience because you're growing through what they've already done here. Yeah. But I do feel like your person will wait. I think we'll pull a few more cards on your person very, very quickly. Tell me more about school clothes person here, please. Tell me more about school clothes person. So we've got the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. Queen of Wands, that's in the upright. Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups as well. So yes, definitely they will now just look at this this is the queen of wands okay the queen of wands is a goal getter a goal setter so again i'm going to say that your person is going to wait yeah they may be watching you complete these tasks they may be watching you go through each step yeah it's like very structured very may even possibly be planned yeah their strategy and i just believe that your person will be watching and waiting yeah, we've got a little black cat down there as well. It's a very spiritual thing for me anyway. And then we have this Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups as well. So this is that reunion. This is that person bringing that cup and offering it to you. I don't feel like they're going to leave your side, but in terms of levelling up to a commitment, in terms of the connection moving forward here, Scorpios, you will have to grow through certain things. They know because they've been through it. It needs to be built on solid foundation. They're meeting you where you are, okay? Quite good with that. But in terms of it moving any further than where it may be, it's not going to go anywhere until you grow through certain things. Let's see, Scorpios, what do Scorpios need to do? Okay, what do Scorpios need to do? We did have one card for, and I can see that it's already for sword. What do Scorpios need to do in this connection? So we have the Six of Wands. We also have the High Priestess. And we have, look at that, Queen of Swords. There's your match. So first we have the King of Swords. Now we've got the Queen of Swords. So you are definitely for one another here. And we've also got the Four of Swords. In fact, this came out first. So there's lots of laying to rest here. Perhaps um, even manifesting that you need to do. I'm definitely seeing that you're having to grow through things. You may be praying. praying. It may be a very difficult time for you here, Scorpios. 
okay because it, it, it's a lot going through uh, an awakening here going through a change you know when this tower comes crashing down and you've nothing left but to deal with yourself this person's not leaving your side either and you know it yeah the high priestess knows a lot i feel like she's a know-it-all in this case like she knows a lot and she's trusting the process that may even be the first step for you is learning to trust the process learning to trust yourself learning to trust what your intuition is trying to tell you here okay there's no running no more you have to just face yourself there will be a victory here yeah when you when you finally evolve into the beautiful being that you were meant to be Okay, I see here with the six of one, it's a victory. So you're getting somewhere. You're both growing with the flow together. So you, oh, I love the way this is uh, panning out here. So it's like you're growing through and awakening here and your person is right there by your side. Not um, blocking your way in any kind of way. Not even being like, oh, what's the word? Like muddy cuddling you, that kind of thing. Not petting you as you go through they're letting you allowing you to feel all your feels listening to understand not giving you a way out yeah? they want you to become this queen of swords you already are somewhere within but you just need to bring that part of you to life here scorpios let's move on to your oracle card because that banging is doing my head in i do apologize guys someone's renovating um, yes so let's have a look what advice do we have for Scorpios today Ooh. what advice do we have for Scorpios please oh blimey anything else for Scorpios if you want to get one more one just be on the safe side any other advice for Scorpios today please that was a really crap shuffle <laughs> no advice. way too many way 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 too many we'll keep those first too anything else for school clothes please i think that might be it guys not having much joy okay so we have kit soon i will show you who to trust yeah that being your intuition will show you whom to trust when it kicks off it's kicking off for a reason do not ever doubt your intuition yeah. we also have little brother little sister siblings younger friends responsibility okay so this situation may involve your siblings or friends and, and people that are younger than you okay that you're trying to figure out whatever your intuition is telling you it's true that's the one we also have hedgehog love, positive, uplifting, new friends. That's that king of swords coming in for you. Very positive, very uplifting in a, in a special kind of way. Strange companions in stranger places. Challenges, use your imagination. Okay, so that's when you're growing through certain things. There will be challenges along the way. And you've got to use your imagination. Use your discernment going through this. Okay, Scorpios, that has been your reading. Okay, and I want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for your kind, kind support here on my channel, guys. Uh, please do give me a thumbs up if this reading has resonated for you. Only take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't. Don't force anything to fit with your situation, guys. Have a wonderful day.